Hi everybody, Melissa O'Connell here, your Lexus technology specialist with a special edition tech tip about how to properly clean the screens and the touchpad in your Lexus. Now this is really important if you have a touch screen. Right now we are of course all very concerned about making sure that we are eliminating germs from our environment. We also want to do it the right way. Sometimes we might think of using chemicals that are too harsh. They work great on other surfaces, but when it comes to delicate surfaces like touch screens and touch pads, all we need is water and a little bit of a mild or neutral detergent. So something like a simple dishwashing soap, as long as it says mild, gentle, easy on hands, things like that, you're in good shape. So if you've looked in your owner's manuals and you've seen that it says a neutral detergent and you've wondered what that is, think back to chemistry class. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, that's a pretty long think back. Just remember when you learned about pH. So we learned about things that are alkaline or acidic. Also in the owner's manual, it tells you not to use any alkaline products in the vehicle, especially when it comes to cleaning the screens because they can etch and damage the screens. Keep in mind, that means nothing with bleach, alcohol, or a grease cutting agent because they can all be much too harsh for the surfaces that you're wanting to clean. So here we have a pretty messy fingerprint covered, probably germ covered screen. We're gonna clean it up, but we're gonna follow some basic best practices. Number one, make sure your vehicle is turned off. Number two, do not press too hard on the screen. You wanna use a light touch with your clean, smooth microfiber cloth that you have sprayed the cloth with water and a neutral or mild dish soap. But you can just spray your cloth, just a quick squirt. If your spray bottle's a little out of control, you may wanna spray it outside the car so you don't get it everywhere. And then once you have a damp microfiber cloth, then you can proceed to clean your screen. And we're gonna work just in a circular fashion. You can go across or up or down, and then you're going to notice that the screen is clean. It also will not leave streaks behind. And because of the type of cloth that I'm showing you, you will not have lint left behind. So that's why it's important that you don't wanna just grab a random napkin that you have or a Kleenex because it can be abrasive and it can also leave paper lint behind that you then have to go ahead and clean. We're going to use the same water and mild soap sprayed right onto the microfiber cloth to clean our touch pad. And just remember to make sure you have your vehicle turned off first. You don't need to push hard onto the touch pad and you'll notice that it's going to leave a nice clean surface and you wanna remember not to spray directly onto the touch pad because you don't want moisture to get into the crevice around the touch pad itself. Just like remembering not to spray the screen directly because it can leave spots etched into the surface of the screen. So if the first pass at cleaning either your touch pad or your screen didn't get you the results that you want, go ahead and add a little more moisture to your microfiber cloth and then clean again. So nice and gently, remember not to push too hard. If you do have some buildup on the touch pad or your screen, it's better to go with multiple passes of the same technique rather than to push hard or scrub, which will damage that surface. If you have a smartphone holder in your vehicle, don't forget about cleaning that as well. So you can clean around the surface all with the same microfiber cloth that's been dampened with your water and gentle soap solution. But you can also remove the insert. It, to remove the insert, you're going to work along the outer edge on both sides. You can gently just separate the soft insert from the outer casing. 
You'll notice there are three tabs on each side of the insert and you just gently pull apart, bring it toward the center, and then you can lift the entire thing out. Now, if you have crumbs or something inside, don't shake it out inside your vehicle. Make sure you are over a trash can. If you haven't used it a lot, it might be pretty clean. Like this one is very clean. So you can just do a little wipe out with your same microfiber cloth. If you need to clean the hard case, you can actually do that with a soft edge vacuum tool. And then you'll pinch together gently the two edges of the insert. And we're going to slide that in and we're going to hook in each tab. Notice that the tabs have a small rectangular piece that sticks out on the ends. You wanna work that piece into the hole or the opening first, and then the round portion will snap in. So just slide it down into place and then work from one end to the other. And it's not easy to see, so just feel for it. Work in each tab and you'll feel it snug into place, and then you can move on to the other edge. If you're not sure where that tab is, try one side, then the other. Just don't push hard because it's nice and simple. And you're done. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay safe and healthy. And if you have any questions about cleaning the electronics on your Lexus, don't forget to reach out here, reach out to your local Lexus dealer, or always consult your owner's manuals, either hard copies in your vehicle or online at LexusDrivers.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.